Coaches, when your catcher loses sight of the ball on a foul ball, where does he look? Where does he look for the ball? If it's a right-handed hitter, we look to the open side or the right. And if it's a left-handed hitter, we look to the left or the open side of the left-handed hitter. Coaches, when our catcher loses sight of the ball, you know, sometimes they blink. Actually, when the, when the swing is taken, the catcher will blink and the ball will be fouled and he won't see it. He won't, he won't know where it is. So a good drill here is we got some wiffle balls being thrown to me. Cole's going to start catching and he's going to have his head looking straight down at the ground. When he hears me hit the ball, he's going to look for the ball. He should look to the open side of me as a hitter, okay? And he should be able to pick it up because usually when a guy fouls one back, it's usually up to the right to a right-hander and up to the left to a left-hander. Coaches, take a closer look here how Cole will look to the open side of me when I foul the ball off. When I hit the ball, he'll always look to that right side to pick up the ball. And most of the time, he'll find that that ball will be there. Coaches, this is the one ball blocking drill. What we're trying to do here is get our player to block it, get it, and get it back to me as quick as possible. Block it, find it, find it, find it. Up to your feet, up to your feet. Let's get to our feet, get to your feet, get to your feet. Ball under your chin, ready? Block it, find it, that's it, ready? Block it, find it, find it, find it. Two hands, good, ready? Block it, find it, find it, get there, get there, get there. Two hands, give me two hands now. Give me two hands when you pick that ball up. Block it, block it, block it, two hands. There you go. Bring that ball right up to your chin. Ready? Block it, block it, block it. Oh, catch right there. Ready? Ready? Keep that glove in the hole. Block it, block it, find it, find it. Two hands. Good. One more, one more. Hopping back, hopping back. Ready? Here we go. Ready? Block it, block it, find it, find it, find it. Good job. Coaches, this is the six ball rapid fire blocking drill for catchers. All right, here we go. Six ball rapid fire. Here we go. Get right back up. Right back up. Right back up. Right back up. Atta baby, right back up. Nice job right there. Nice job. Woo! The glove to release timing drill for catchers throwing down to second base. All right, Jesse's going to get down. What we're going to do here, coaches, is we're going to take a stopwatch and we're going to time Jesse. When this ball hits Jesse's glove, the clock starts. And go ahead and get to release. Get right to release, right there. Right at release, right at his ear is where we stop the clock. So we start it at the catch and we stop it at the ear. Okay? So, and what the time we're looking for here, guys, is five tenths of a second. That's an excellent time. Fifty-five. We're trying to get fifty or better. Fifty. Do it again. Forty-seven. Nice job. Two more. Forty-six. Nice quick release right there. One more. Forty-seven. Good job. This is the 22nd quick catch drill. In the 22nd quick catch drill, what we're trying to do is have a quick toss. Now, there's a lot of different ways we can do this. We're gonna go with our left foot forward. And when we catch the ball, we want it on our glove side. We want it between our left eye and our 90 degree angle of our arm. So there's this window that we want our players to throw to. So when we catch it, we catch with two hands and we drag it across our face in the cock position to throw it. Another way is we could have the right foot forward, learning to get our hips open and so you actually make your players switch their feet. Again, no steps. We can do it with our feet straight across, just turning, no steps allowed. And the last would be a step, catch, and throw where we would actually step to it, catch it, 
and then throw it. So it would be here and throw. Here and throw. So we, we step, we step, we step before we catch it. What we have, most kids in a quick catch, they'll catch it, then they'll step and throw. Let's get that first step out of the way before in this drill. Here it is. We're going to go with our glove side foot forward at a 45 degree angle. Coach is going to give me 20 seconds. He's going to say go, and we're going to try to have a catch for 20 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. We got eighteen. The standard for high schoolers is twenty in twenty seconds. If you're an above average high schooler, you should be able to get 20 throws in 20 seconds.